Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to put on a Jamberry nail. First, if you'll, I'm going to show you what you need. You have alcohol, nail polish remover, buffer, nail file. My son is taping this and he's <laughs> laughing. Okay, a cuticle, pusher, <laughs> tweezers, and scissors. And your nail sheet. Can we start over? And your, no, and your hair dryer. Okay, this is mostly for Robin because she asked me to do this. Okay, so when you have your nail sheet, I go ahead and I cut it out like this because it's easier for me to, to size. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to size it. This one fits just right, but it's not going to touch side to side. So, and this next size up fits good, but it may hang over the sides just a little bit. Um, so it's better to go with the smaller one than the big one, so you don't have to cut off the edges. But I'm going to go with the bigger one because I think it's going to fit a little bit better. So what you do is you take the shield, you take your tweezers, do not touch, well, I'll, let me go back. First you have to prep your nail. If you have any nail polish, you remove it with the nail polish remover. I don't have any of that, so I'm going to take a buffer and I'm going to buff my nail gently because you're not trying to damage your nail. You're just trying to get the shine off. So I'm going to gently buff it, get the shine off. Then I'm going to take some alcohol and remove the dust and sanitize the nail as well. So I just rub that with some alcohol and then let that dry a little bit. And then you take the nail that you sized and you take your tweezers and just pull it back and just grab that little tip. Don't grab here at the round part because it's better to position it if you grab from the top that you cut. So I'm going to grab that part and pull it and then you'll have your nail shield and then follow me over to the hair dryer. And then you will turn the hair dryer on. And I keep my finger behind it so it doesn't blow. And so I turn it on. And you'll heat for 10 to 15 seconds until it gets flexible or your hand is on fire. Okay? So now that's good and flexible. Then you come back and you just position the nail. And you can use your other nail to kind of help you. And I make sure it's a little bit touching the skin, so I want to pick it up a little bit more. Oh, my nail. Okay. And then what I do is I push hard in the middle and push down. Just the middle part. And then I make sure the sides look okay. And this is the bigger one, so I'm going to have to do a lot of trimming. So then I push there, and then I reheat my nail up. And then I push from the middle out to the end, smoothing it down. And I really should have cut that all off, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. And then I'm going to push down a little bit more. And it is touching my skin quite a bit. So I would come around and I would need to trim that off. Get that off there. That's pretty good. Okay. And then you would turn it on. and push real good and when I trim that I messed up see how I have a little gap right there I trimmed a little too much off but that's okay you can make mistakes and you can go back and correct them or just if you're not a perfectionist you could just leave it like that and you make sure all the bubbles are out and then this little bit that's right here you'll take your file and go straight down to get that little excess off. See how it kind of comes down and it rolls off? Okay, and then you just wipe 
and then I just check real good for the sides not to be touching my skin and they're not and I just reheat it because I'm reheat queen and then I push down again because it is heat and pressure activated and I just make sure it's sealed real good and that's how you put on a jamboree nail and as you can tell that little gap because I cut it too too much there so to me I'm unhappy with that so I'm gonna show you how to remove the jamboree nail all you do is you reheat it then you take your tweezers and you go from side to side you just pick it off and peel right off and it does not damage your nail underneath it'll leave it a little bit sticky and you just take some alcohol and just wipe it off so now I'm gonna Carolina no sorry my dog is chewing on something so then you take your um here's the smaller one so this time I'm gonna size it so I'm gonna size it sorry it takes a little bit getting used to this but once you get used to it you can go pretty fast I bend it down so I know where to cut and then I just cut a little extra off Carolina come here Make sure I got it good okay then the same thing you peel it and remove that without touching this and then you I leave my hair dryer on my table so I don't have to mess with it and I put my finger behind it to hold it okay then I bring it back over here and this is the smaller one you saw me do the bigger one and now I'm going with the smaller one so that's sideways. And then I just push in the middle. I don't want to push my sides down yet. I just want to push the middle down. Then I reheat it. To me this reminds me of shrink wrap a little bit. I push in the middle again and then I push down my sides. And then I take my cuticle pusher and I want to make sure that it's down and I'm going to seal it all the way around. I just have a little bit hanging off the ends here. So I cut that. Whoops. And I reheat it. And again, I just push down and I look for any bubbles or anything that I'm not happy with. I don't see any bubbles or anything. But if you had a bubble, all you do is heat it up and push it out and it'll go right out. Okay, and then you take your file and you file down. Straight down. To get any of that excess off the end and then just wipe that off and you're done and this is what the smaller one it just left a little bit on the, each side but sometimes it's better to have it smaller just so it won't touch the skin it just depends on what you if whether you want to trim it or not and that's it bye